Ave, what are you doing there, huh? Oh my God. What are you up to? What what are you I, hiding? Oh my God, she's she's <laughs> <you>. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. Martin is really into these kind of necklaces. gonna make my eyes stick out. I'm also getting one. That was nice, Sabe. It's a really nice stone. Ayan. <laughs> what shirt do you have there? Oh, that's nice. I'll pick both of them. Okay. Okay. All right. So how much kuya? Uh, to 15 and 7 stone. 250. Oh, the same so you 150. Rin. 150. Wala bang discount kuya? Tong tatlo. How much? Uh, okay. Bali 650 lahat. Kasi 600 na lang. 600. Okay. 600 for all. Got winning, Martin. <laughs> winning. Okay. What is up you guys? It's your girl Ava loving it and welcome to another travel vlog. Just got here in Malatapay Port. It's about 30 minutes to 40 minutes drive from Dumaguete to here. Also, if you're coming from Manila or Cebu, there are direct flights to Dumaguete back and forth. So we paid 3,000 pesos for a pump boat. If you're also wondering what the other fees are, here it is. Also, there's a 5 pesos terminal fee per person once you reach Malatapay Port. In case you're going here via public transportation, just tell the jeepney or the bus driver to drop you off at Malatapay Port because you're going to Apo Island. Um, this is the boat that we rented out. It's good for Six, six people yeah. it's good for six people but as of now we're just three we rented this as a private boat Chito what are you doing? well you have a nice view at least <laughs> pose yeah <laughs> hello <laughs> How come the chokey, my god? And we've definitely arrived on Apple Island. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Chito over here is cheering everybody up. Uh, hello, Apu! Anybody home? Hello. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a beautiful day. Arrived here in Apple Island after a 30 minute boat ride. Kumusta Ay, naman mo? Magwa para gya po nanay o. Hello po. <laughs> Water delivery. <laughs> Hello po. Yung ada yung smile. Smile the face. Smile ka. Smile. Cute. Nah, After an hour of swimming with the turtles, oh my gosh, 
How was your experience? You liked it? I loved it. <laughs> I really loved it. It was a beautiful coral reefs. So many turtles. Yeah, I think maybe 10. <laughs> at Probably least. 10 at least. Just a reminder to dispose your trash in a proper waste bin because Cheeto right here, what did you found? Yeah, I found a turtle and then near the turtle was a plastic so I need to get it even oh, if I'm afraid. Thank you so much. Yeah. Where's the plastic again? I throw it already. Uh, the trash can. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Martin's filming the boys who are playing marbles. Jolens in Tagalog. Holens. Magkano isang holen? Piso dalawa. Piso dalawa. Ako, wala na ako sa akin. Madami kang holens dyan, patingin. Wow, she has a lot of... See? That's what it looks like. Hi! Hello! Hi! The kids are playing Hollands or marbles in English and it costs one peso for two marbles. So that's 50 cents each. They don't have any gadgets here to have fun. And they're actually outside of their house playing. Those are the days. Now kids are more into gadgets. heading back to the boat because it's almost 2 p.m. We have to pay 100 pesos per things that we rented out like for example the boots is 100 pesos, the snorkel is 100 pesos, the fins is 100 pesos. Uh, all in all it's 900 pesos because Chito has a life jacket which also costs 100 pesos. 300 pesos for a guide. You have to have a guide when you swim and make sure not to swim close to the sea turtles. Do not feed them. Whatever trash that you bring in Apo Island, make sure to bring it back to the island where you're coming from. Or Mati, in, yeah, like us. This is all of the garbage that we collected, that we use. I think that's about it. We're gonna take some photos and Leave Apo Island. We're lucky because there's not much people unlike before. So remember when I said to take your trash with you when you leave the island? Um, I think a lot of people just threw their trash here at the port. Like, look, the animals are eating the trash. A lot of, there's a lot of plastics and also there's a bunch of nice like old trees around it's just disappointing to see a beautiful place like this being trashed by irresponsible tourists so make sure when you leave the island take the trash with you and bring it to your hotel or your house dump it in a proper waste bin don't just leave it here. Okay, back here in Dumaguete City after our short trip in Apo Island. And of course, it's Burrenda time. We decided to stop by this restaurant by Silvana's, my favorite. They also have a chocolate flavor, which Chito ordered. But as for me, I got the regular one. 